Okay, so now we're going to continue our lesson on light. So before we move on to learning something new, let us take a look at what we have already learned. So we learned that light always travels in a straight line unless it's obstructed by an object. I remember we did some experiments to show that. And we also did some experiments where we learned that light passes through some objects and not others, right? And we learned about transparent objects where all the light passes through that object so that you can see what is on the other side. And we also learned the term translucent where some of the light passes through. An example of translucent when we had that very thin tissue paper or frosted glass. And we also learned the word opaque, that no light passes through these objects. And these are the objects that will cast a shadow. So we learned that the last time we were doing science. So this time we're going to be looking at something called reflection. What is reflection? Well, reflection is when light bounces off a surface. Now we know, we had discussed earlier that light bounces, for us to see something, light has to bounce off that surface and get to our eye for us to be able to see. But some material, light bounces off much more than other materials. And other some materials absorb most of that light when it hits it. So we're going to take a look. So we have what we call reflective material. So reflective material are the material that reflects light well. So if light, if you shine light on them, the light bounces off of these surfaces, right? Most of the light that hits these surfaces bounces off. Um, and these items, these materials tend to be smooth and are shiny. So they're good reflectors. But we also have some material that we would say are non-reflective material. And these non-reflective material, instead of reflecting the light, instead of the light bouncing off, what happens is most of the light is going to be absorbed by the material. So these materials do not reflect light well. Most of the light is absorbed. And when we look at that material, we realize that those tend to have buff or rough surfaces unlike the reflective material that have shiny surfaces. Okay, so let us take a look, closer look and look at some examples of reflective and non-reflective material. Items here, so let's take a look. The first thing I have is a napkin or a paper towel. Take a, take a closer look. This is non-reflective. There is not a lot of light that is reflecting or bouncing off of the surface of this material. There's enough light that we can see it because remember we have to, we're able to see something because light bounces on it and then goes and see. But there's not a lot of light that is bouncing. So we're going to say that this is non-reflective. And one of the ways that you know that something is not reflective is because it's, it's non-reflective items tend to be dull. They're not shiny and smooth. And if we look at this napkin, it's not shiny or smooth. All right, so let's look at something else. Here's a piece of photocopy paper, just a regular white paper. What would you say? Take a look at it. Let me put it a little closer. Would you say that this is reflective or non-reflective? You are correct. This is non-reflective as, as well. Not a lot of light is bouncing off of this. Okay? Okay. The next thing, let us look at something like a mirror. Would we say that light is reflecting off of this? And Yes, this is a re this is reflective material. Okay, we would say a mirror is very reflective because light is bouncing off, and you're able to see an image in it. All right, how about something like this? We say this is foil paper. Would we say that foil is reflective? Yes. If you said yes, it's reflective. You are correct. Okay, so those are a few examples. Of reflective and non-reflective material. Uh, what you can do is also look around your house to see if there's anything else, all the materials that you have in your kitchen and in your all around your house. Whenever you're looking at something, ask yourself, is this reflective or this is is this not reflective? So now that we've 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 looked at what the characteristics of reflective and non-reflective material are, and we've also looked at some examples. What I want you to do is to draw this table in your notebook. So pause the video so that you can draw the table. Once you've drawn the table with these two columns, I'm going to give you a list of items or a list of terms or 
just a list of things and you are to decide if that statement, if that item, if that diagram fits in reflective or non-reflective material. So just look at the list and decide if they are reflective or non-reflective. So that's your homework for today is to arrange these items in the two columns. All right. Once you get to the, the list that I'm giving you, you can pause the video so that you can do that. Okay, so work on this homework and then we will talk about it in class. So here is the list. Dull, dark materials. Does that indicate reflective or not reflective? And here's a list of items. So go through them carefully. Um, if you need to rewatch the video, certainly go back and do that. And we'll discuss it in class. Okay, bye everybody.